What's going on? What you doing here? I heard in order to bag you, it has to be like an official resident. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Did this girl just say she moved to Atlanta because she wanted to bag me? I just think you're just epic fly, and I feel like I deserve to be around you a little bit. Maybe we can, like, link up a little bit after this. I mean, you want to feel on the spot right now? Am I making you nervous? I'm sorry. A little bit. I'm just going to be all mad aggressive. I make you nervous, you make me Hollywood! Guess who's back? I am now Kimberly, a bit more reserved and classy. But don't get it twisted, I ain't taking no from these Hollywood bitches. This is my year, a year all about me, my son always and forever, my money, my career, and let's not forget Faye. to hit up the real bitches I know. Moniz, that's my birthday tweet. God know he was creating a storm on that day. And my homegirl, Bridget, we go way back in the music industry for years. You gotta catch us up, it's been too long. It's been like a twilight zone. I just got out of surgery to get these foreign objects out of my body. Foreign objects? I did what every hood bitch did. You know, I wanted a big butt, and then I went right on to that street, Atlanta doctor. That went in there with them shots in the hotel room just because you did it at the Intercontinental. Uh, don't make it any better, so they got the first half out. But I have to go back, and this time they have to cut it out. When I got into this business, I thought the bigger the ass, the bigger the career. I never thought that I would suffer and struggle just to be able to walk, or just to be able to not have swollen legs and back ends. The journey is about to be difficult. It's been a consistent thing of seeing doctors in and out in order to get back to my healthy self. Last show, I couldn't even stand up. Like, I'm having to go backstage, like, between songs, to drink water, be fed down. I just want to be healthy. I just want to enjoy life to the fullest. Yeah. yeah. And I think L.A. is the place. That's so. one thing I love about being out here. And honestly, I'm adjusting because last year was rough for me. I moved out here to relaunch my career, but also uh -huh. to follow love. I heard through the grapevine, it was a little situation with Booby. Oh, girl. He fine, bitch. <laughs> fine, but not my speed. Is he smarter than he talk? <laughs> I don't, honestly, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him enough to even get that far. The drama with that really was more about Brooke and I trying to figure out if we could really be friends. That girl is like a bad Angela Bassett impersonation. Stop it, Kay. Regardless of all the drama and all the shade that Brooke and I threw at each other last year, my breakup with my ex and her fake punk proposal for Marcus helped us find common ground. We were both in a vulnerable place and decided that it was best to bury the hatchet and become a real friend. I need a favor from you. What's up? Going on tour, I have a date here in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I need you to sing. I thought Lyrica was gonna be open for you. Did she do something with you in New York? Thaw, 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 thaw. What happened? In New York, I'm like, okay, you can open up for me. This is my album release concert. Y'all, swear to God on my life, she was an hour late. I'm running around doing press. This bitch gonna text me. Where's the location? I don't know who you are, Latoya Lucky. Why you oh fight my Latoya God. Lucky? I need another shot. Like, you gonna make me pay over it? Cause you an hour late? Fine, Lyrica, go up there and do your thing. When it comes to Lyrica, it's consistently a cry fest. So this was the icing on the cake. The bitch, you got me I'm gonna talk to her, and I want her to know that you can't always do that to me. That is a very Kimberly approach to take. You think? Kay Michelle would have snatched her wig. And I don't want nobody to make the dumb mistakes that I made. You keep on doing this. You keep on Both doing this. There. Yeah. Honestly, both of y'all have been in hibernation. I'm very impressed. Oh, no, no, no. She ain't been in no hibernation. Oh, I was doing good, so good. I'm rolling. I see that people got baby bumps. And this girl say, Princess, you ain't carrying that baby. <laughs> Ooh. Sitting up in my room, Brand is carrying that baby. You said Brandy pregnant. I posed the question, was she a surrogate? Ooh. The devil comes knocking at your door enough times, eventually you ask him, what do you want? I said what I said about Brandy because I don't like anyone with the last name Norwood. I don't care what I say and do or how it's going to affect her and her family, baby included. Safe sex and paychecks. Hey. And swallow. Welcome to LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and trying. Don't judge me. That crazy. Right to your feet. You're crazy, you're crazy. Cause they don't, don't understand. understand. Michelle 
at her show in New York. I'm super excited to sit down and talk about joining her at her show at Club Novo in LA. How you doing? Hi, baby. So baby, hand me the mic and let's do this. What are you doing, Lyrica? Girl, working too much, not enough home time. My single charted and, mm -hmm. you know, I got a big radio tour I did mm -hmm. off of it. You working to be like a Rika. Okay. You working to be like Anita. Okay. Let me tell you this. You is spoiled. Why? You did the show with me. And literally, you was an hour late. Me? Do you know I was charged every minute after that? Well, that's management fault, because I don't be an hour late. Your management, not mine. Uh-uh. You're not even listening to me, Lyrica. I'm trying to help you, girl. I can put on that red wig any minute. That bitch is always inside of me. You need to work with Kimberly, because what you don't want to do is let K. Michelle come through. You wrote some great songs, but nobody give a When you feel so entitled, K. You are not serious right now. I swear to God, for crackers and jeans. You are not you serious. Was an hour Why you want me to be yes? Can you tell me about the show three days before the show? You acting like I couldn't get Susie Q a rainbow bright to get up there and shine some light. You right. They call me entitled and I'm offended. You so I'm offended because I'm not entitled. I'm actually very humble. Person. Let me tell you something about me. Everything that I have, I had to work for. Nothing was given to me. Everything I have to handle well, myself. I thought and my hair was gone and even Marcus Stopping Spree because you was girl, gone a whole that's hour. You gotta fake it till you make it, bitch. But fake it till I make it. You got to. But let me tell you I one don't thing. Fake let me tell you something. I'm not faking like you fake your marriage. I'm not faking. I fake my marriage. Bitch, I'm out of here. Oh, Lord. This is what I call a music marriage. They using each other for music. There's no love. There's no affection. Every time I see them, they fighting and crying at each other. I am tired. I'm right here with silicone in my back. I need me an IV drill to give me some energy because dealing with these hoes is great. If we being real, she wrote in a group of 50. The truth is, her mama is the star. I'm here, Dad. That's why nobody fuck with you. This broad has lost her mind. Hey, Michelle wants to call me fake and my marriage fake. Last time I checked, you're practically dying from those fake injections. Paris warned me about this girl. But if she thinks she's gonna have the last word, uh oh, you got another thing coming. These bitches in La La Land, they finna get a taste of the real. This what you're doing? This is what you're doing? Lyrica. You and LA being the same place. The same place doing better than you, bitch. Doing better than me. Doing better than you. What the f is you doing? Wow. Get the f out of here. Wow. Get the f out of here. Wow. Cut on spikes right in the public. You trying to take me home. Get out of here. I'm not taking your ass home because I don't want to get slapped on my forehead with that walk sad ass. Get the f out of here, bitch. Give me a mic. Your album was brick. What you need a mic for? Security. Safari. I'm trying to help this bitch. I did not want to get there. She's steady going. So you know what? I'm going to hit your ass with the truth. I saw the text messages. What? Are you you trying to f another and you got it. Are you taking me out? Get the f out of her crunchy boot ass, bitch. I know the Lord and he heard my cry. Tonight is my official Erica Menez in Atlanta and ready to take over party. I did not expect to spend my first few days here being dragged into Stevie and Estelita's drama. So tonight I am shaking it all off and I'm having a good time. Oh my best friend, how are you? What's up, no? Thanks for coming out, supporting my girl. I'll be back. Let me make my rounds. I ain't gonna even lie. I think Erica Menez was gonna make a perfect fit for Atlanta. She a crazy chick and it's a crazy city. What's up, man? So what you doing? You in there? I'm here. So are you seeing somebody while you here right now? Like, are you, okay. I've been dating since. A lot of times. I got rid of the challenge in my life. What challenge? Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's 
not Bow Wow. You can't do Bow Wow like that, man. Aside for some fun and some Tommy baby. I heard a lot about Erica Mena, although we never met. But well, Melissa reached out to me and told me that Erica's celebrating her moving to the A, and I was a special invited guest, so I came to see what all the fuss is about. You were asked for. You know, Mena, this is a Tommy. You are so much prettier in person. God bless your soul. Thank you. You too. Hi. As you guys all know, I'm definitely not the girl that shies away from her sexuality. If someone turns me on, that's all that matters. I've definitely had my eyes on Tommy for a minute. So thank you, Melissa, because here she comes looking like a homie. I just think you're so dope. Matter of fact, sit up. You're supposed to be sitting high. You made me feel like royalty around this. <laughs> What's going on? What you doing here? I heard in order to bag you, it has to be like an official resident. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Did this girl just say she moved to Atlanta because she wanted to bag me? I just think you're just epic fly, and I feel like I deserve to be around you a little bit. Maybe we can, like, link up a little bit after this. I mean, you want to feel on the spot right now? Am I making you nervous? I'm sorry. A little bit. I'm just going to be all mad aggressive. I make you nervous, you make me So can we leave? This girl is straight up hitting on me, and I'm having some serious flashbacks. The last time I entertained the idea of being with another chick, it was another crazy Puerto Rican. And that didn't end up so well. So yeah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's a trick. I ain't gonna lie to you. What trick? Y'all know how it goes with girls and me out here. You think this is like a bull finagle situation? Oh, take a picture of me while I'm sleeping, say I f***ed you, touch yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. And then she turned into a jealous hater when she realized Stevie was giving me a little bit too much attention. She tried to accuse me of running her over, and I wound up getting charges and a restraining order. How can you show her you for real, Erica? I feel like I understand you. So with that being said, can I take you out sometime? I'm so... Please don't feel uncomfortable. If you need some time to think about it, think about it. Yeah. I'll go out with Erica on some food like a light lunch in a well-lit area with my car parked right outside in case I need to make a getaway. I want to walk to Atlanta, so just a little something. Oh, my God. Oh, Melissa! That is so funny. Yeah. I have to do a speech right now. I want you to hold my bracelet, <laughs> so I know you're not going nowhere. Oh, well, well. You ain't going to leave, right? No. I know it's one or two things. They're going to end up feeling each other or killing each other. Either way, Erica Miller and Tommy, that is a movie. I'm buying front row tickets to. When, when does this movie come out? What you know about me? 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 Jazzy told me straight up, in order for me to work with him, I had to go through the boot camp. Being an artist, you have to be in the best shape possible in order for you to dance and sing around the stage. So whatever I have to do to kind of prove myself to Jazzy, best believe I'm going to do it, even if it kills what me. What I do is nothing like any other. Okay. I do I'm it because I'm blind as a mother. Now that me and Estelia are cool again, I'm going to do whatever it takes to help her be an artist. Because clearly, she can't rely on Stevie. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. I thought Tommy was gonna come too, but so far she's a no show. I hope I didn't scare her off. I need power, can't steal my power. What the heck? You said boot camp, yeah, not torture. <laughs> I got you some water, you know what I'm saying? That's when I, I thought I was really athletic. Yeah. You gotta go hard to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't run back and forth across the stage 20 to 45 minutes without having some kind of training. Hi, beautiful. Uh, uh, Thanks for coming. What's up, son? How you doing, baby? How you doing? Now that Erica and I have talked, I can trust that she's keep it in her pants, so I decided to take her up on an invite. When I walked out and seen what they was doing, I went right back into the locker room and went right into my personal bar. I got myself a drink and waited for them to finish. I'm too cute to sweat today. And she comes to the gym with a cocktail and everything. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, it's a wake me up um, drink. This is a process. It's all about, you know, getting these voices together, and we're going to do some vocal coaching as well. I have no choice, right? No, you don't have a choice. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, Jazzy. I saw you guys were working out, but now it's time for those vocals. You guys ready? Me, 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 me. <laughs> me. All right. I 
think I got it, y'all. Thanks to my old manager, I'm not really known for being the best artist. Where do I go from here? Moving forward, I'm gonna do everything I can to prove to all my haters, I ain't the very best, but best believe I can be the best. I'm gonna have you exhale for 20 seconds. Exhale? Yes, go. <sighs> I definitely stopped at 12. I lost count. All right, <laughs> would any of you like to sing for me so I can hear what your vocals are like? Yes. All right, let me get you to go do, can you Okay, ready. me. No, I want it straight, so I know that you're confident to hit that note. So it's now you, all right? Do. Pray for Estelita. You could be the wildest hummer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like some like you could be an ad libber. You can't sing though, no, honey. Oh. feel about it? I'm excited. They are crazy. Yes, they are. <laughs> but I love them. It was great working with you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get on down. You know what I mean? You, Bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Right, baby. Thank you. I hope with all the work I put in today that I really kind of prove myself to Jazzy. One thing's for sure is I'm not signing the danger zone. I know what Stevie put a Selena through. Selena. So what's going on with you? Yeah, I think she'll definitely give her the rundown because she knows Stevie more than any of us. Basically, I got myself into a really up situation. I signed a contract with Stevie for five years, girl. But he hasn't done anything for me. And I had to give him 30% of everything I do. He told me, like, if you try to get out of this contract, I will hunt you, bitch. Your music would never be out there. It's not funny. Stevie really sold Estelita a dream, you know what I mean? If she's strong enough, I hope she get through this, like, for real. So do you have any type of, like, plan? Like, what do you want from him moving forward? He needs to get me a good single, and if he does that, then we might be able to work things out. I think we need to lay the law down. Like, you really have to stand up for yourself and go check him. I'm gonna have your back. I'm back again, bitches. Last time you guys saw me, I was in New York being sold a bunch of dreams about my music career. And I'm super excited to be back home. That whole music thing was a phase. My main concern is my beautiful daughter, Alea. Yo, Lele. All my life, people thought they could take from me and treat me any kind of way, but I'm done with that Fire is my close friend, and I'm coming to Rashida's event that I was not invited to because I have a major ax to grind with one of Rashida's closest friends. Now you're about to see who I really am. Is it? <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hey. Yeah. How are you, darling? How are you? How are you? Hey. Now, I know Alexis and Carly don't really get along. Has something to do with Mo, which I've never been a fan of. So I didn't invite Alexis. So I'm definitely wondering, why is she here? Did y'all get something to drink? No. I want some water. I can't drink because I just had the sleeve surgery. Oh, really? Where you going? What was that? Jackie. Bitch, what is you doing? What's she finna, she kicking her shoes? Like, who's she trying to talk to? Carly! Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Lindsay, calm the f down. No, what the f? I thought you was gonna stay in my mama's face. You fucking leave? I'm minding my business, having a good time with my girls, and all of a sudden, Olexis walks over. Talk your All I know about Olexis is that she was with Mo before he met me, and she and all her people are messy, messy, messy. What the f is happening? Who the hell told y'all to come up here and do this ghetto ratchet <laughs> you're doing today? I don't want anything to ruin my amazing day. Y'all giving me a migraine. 
I thought you were gonna stay in my mama's face. You're not about that life. Get up then, bitch. Trust me. Alexis used to talk to my man Mo a couple of years ago before we even got together. A few months ago, I got dragged into some drama between them, and then I had to threaten Alexis' mom. He was in love with me. I said, well, baby, you can have him. I don't want him. He gave her my ring and everything. She just started flipping out, took Mo's phone, called my mom, and then was like, bitch, I'm gonna spit on you and your daughter every time I see you. But Alexis and none of my friends know, I've been going through the darkest time of my life. I've been heartbroken, ashamed, and stressed beyond belief. So this bitch don't want to try me right now. We in Atlanta. I'm about that life. OK, bitch, and I'm in your city now. You're not about that. I'm in your city. Come on now. You oh, see? Oh, we supposed to be here for Kirk and Rashida, rejoicing in the abundance of their longevity. Instead, we are trying to see how far can you throw the rosé. I'm about that life, like, bitch. I'm about that life. Okay, well then come here, bitch. It's not gonna work, bitch. Come here, bitch. I'm here. You just coming over here, bitch. What I've been going through in my personal life lately has been tough enough. But Alexis bringing more drama when I've been dealing with blow after blow is too much. Oh, it's on, bitch. This was unacceptable. I don't give a f Everybody clap. The 20-year anniversary is supposed to be a huge night for me and my husband. We fought really hard to get to this place. So for Alexis Guy to come in uninvited and ruin my 20-year anniversary party over some bull I'm super pissed off right now. Y'all tripping! When the last time you seen her? I ain't seen her in a while. I heard she's doing good, though. In the club on my bad bitches Got a gun to my tongue, about to blast Better run when I come, I'm a psycho Break in your house, take a spouse, I'm a psycho I'm back in town, bitches, and you already know I'm ready to take over Miami I've been laying low for the past few years Doing my thing, but you know what? I'm a whole new job I'm back in Miami, and I'm ready to kick it Hi! thing I know how to do is to respect the bitches that came up before me. And Trina's the baddest bitch. She's been out here in Miami for a long time putting in that work, so I thought it was a good idea to go sit down with Trina before anybody else. Hi, Trick! Ah. I know Trick from the strip club when I used to be a stripper back in the days. And of course, from doing music, because everybody knows Trick Daddy. I'm so glad you guys came. <laughs> you know, but Lacey told me you guys was friends. I didn't even know that! We did this spinning venture with this natural Pill. I don't know if he used it on you. Man, you take this pill for three days, you, you ready to go. He don't need that, though. Maybe he do be taking that, though. And I don't even know if he take it. He probably be... <laughs> Ballistic is my man. I mean, Ballistic in the studio. He's a music producer, and I really like him. I mean, I love him. My daughter loves him. I care for him a lot. You know, he was all about me when I first met him. Sort of like my baby daddy and every other man that I've met. We're supposed to, you know, make it a real official, but it takes a lot to be with a bitch like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're back in Miami, you're back home. You know, Atlanta was really toxic for me. Mm. Just felt like I needed to start a new life because I'm a nice person. I, I don't want to fight. I don't, I don't right. want to, like, be through mother Like, that's not who I was, and I just felt like being in Atlanta, I think that that was put on me so much. Who are you? No, we didn't see it. Get off me, you raggedy ass. Look, you pay me. I give hoes like you money. Pick it up. Get out of here. We'll call the police so you say you're in prison. Yeah, bitch. Bust your mother. Fake ass bitch. I take your husband and give it back to you. He was never my husband's eyes. I'm gonna cook your mother. I just felt like it was time for me to just go. It was kind of like I ran away. I think that I got to Atlanta when I was too young. I was 23 when I got to Atlanta. And so for me, I kind of was doing all the bad things that I wasn't supposed to be doing. And just leaving there and coming back home, I think was better for me. I think when you had the baby. It's what, it's when it happens. She's a great mother. I think when you bring life to the world, I think you have to change because I think you want to be a better person. You didn't want to do the same shit you was doing before. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's the first time I've ever saw you perform. 
I'm excited that you can actually be yeah. here. And this is really like a dope ass turnout. Like, no, it is a dope ass. You know that turn my hoe when that happened to shoot us son. Baby, where I'm from, we see the every day. So. Oh, there goes Phoebe. What's up, Sophie? Oh, hey. How you doing? Great how you doing? Great performance. Great performance. Thank you. What's up, Miss Smyrna? How are you doing? How are you? I've seen better days, but I'm living. So I decided to make my presence known at this rally to support a great cause and to see my girl Tokyo perform. Granted, I definitely have a few things to get off my chest to CBJ, but this is definitely not the time for round two. So I'm just hoping he could conduct himself accordingly. The DM was I a little crazy. Though. It was, but I mean, the actions you're taking is a little offensive what too. What action did I take? I mean, just going to producers, telling them that I can't sing, and I didn't having that ain't what I said. See, it's just a lot of he said, she said. I, I asked That's him. That's not I what said, I'm hearing. I don't but even think she But it's nothing for you to be concerned about, though. And that's just coming to your right. Nothing yet, you know. I'm sitting down with your best friend. Right. Nina, how the hell does the ghost from my relationship past pop up? I have no idea what Stevie was expecting by bringing Rich Dollars here. They're both too old to be playing these type of games. What up, Easy? Hi. What's going on? Great. How are you? It's a little funny. And you don't like drama, great. huh? No, this is a great friend of mine. It's like my brother. This right? is. Oh, you wasn't saying that when you was telling me I should work with you because it's apples and oranges. Remember no, that? No, no, it's apples. Oh, 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 Even worse. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But this yeah. is your buddy, right? Yeah. We're from New York. You shouldn't let bitch like that disrespect who? you. Who? Stay. You shouldn't let who? Richie. We both are better than that. You that. You know, if my daughter was here, you, <laughs> you wouldn't even say nothing. Okay, that. yeah. But you are the bitch that you are. So you watch might as well. Mouth. Watch Listen, your mouth. Listen, at the end of the watch day, your mouth. this little, this my time right here. This you better little watch moment your mouth. you're trying to have for watch yourself your will never make it very far. Ma, you here because of me, so watch your mouth. How can you ever say you that? Can you really you look at yourself and really you say that I'm trying? Yeah. It's okay. Come on, y'all. We're not here for that. What's going on? What's up? Hey, go talk with that. I gotta start your drama like a little bitch you are, bitch. Yeah, listen. Hold that mother back. Mm -hmm. Your mother. Yeah, she that's told me all that. Say. Go take care of your son. Your Remember that. Oh, take mm -hmm. care of my son. Go you got child sure. support, bitch. Why? Like, I'm just like, oh my God, like, not here, anywhere but here. You did Market? this. You did Your this. Wrist. How did I do this? You just Your did wrist. this. Your wrist. Take that hoe back Ow. to New York, man. You just did this. Ow. Why am I hanging on the streets? You acting like I never did nothing for you. Like, I was a piece of like. What are you talking about? That's what the streets are saying. Rich never First did nothing all. for me. My boyfriend never did nothing for me. I You're not my man. And you are how many years ago? Why? That's why I'm so worried about what what's still coming up in the conversation. I'm talking about you. And if that's what this is about, this Man, is a you dud. Like you don't know. This is a dud. You like you don't know. This is a dud. Like you're like five years ago. This right here just proves everything I ever said in that DM is true. I have way too much respect for shooters to sit here and entertain this foolery on a day like today. Sometimes you just gotta know which battles to fight. I gotta be honest with myself, and I just gotta walk away before this turns into something a lot more. That's crazy. They got the. For you now, you don't want to talk to me? Really? Easy. Easy, really? Come on, Rich, just let her go. By walking away, I'm sure Erica thinks that she looks like the bigger person because she's all grown and mature now. But I know her better than anyone else, and it's still the same old Erica. Running scared because she can't handle it. She knows she was wrong for what she said about me, but now she knows Richie's always watching. I didn't call, because the last time we spoke, you were mad at me. What are you me. doing here? Yes, bitch. The queen of slayage is here in the flesh. I am here in New York working, and I decided that I would surprise Richie D, because I discovered that Rich might be f***ing with somebody new. You called me, what, a week ago? Are you? You yelled at me. Kidding me. You called her a week ago. This must be the new bitch. I'm the queen I'm bitch. Not, Welcome to the, the hair. I'm the girl he's supposed to be getting married and having a child no, with. No, hold on. Oh, that's out. crazy. We were getting married too, but I really just came to talk to you. I didn't know you had company. This is like the twilight zone over here. I got my girl Jade bugging over her first horrible meeting with my daughter, throwing all kinds of ultimatums. Then I got my crazy ex-girlfriend, Monice, coming in here, lying on me, take the out of context about our relationship. And now she pops up at my business on some stalker 
What the hell? We FaceTime. Oh. It's still his you really Let me really see the monkey. No, really? Oh, really? my God. Let me see the monkey. I know damn well he said that. This is my man. I know how he but speaks. I, was, I don't I give was, a Hold on, hold on, time out. I'm 10 seconds away from breaking up with this dude, but I'm not gonna give her the satisfaction. Yo, Monique, are you serious right now? This Yo, is an this embarrassment. Is I love like, you, I told you I this love is you. Crazy. You told me you loved me. But we haven't seen each other in years. That's you don't have point. to worry That's about us right. like well, you're you're saying saying you're that. Wilding out. I'm wilding out because you're asking her to see her monkey. What the are you talking about? If it was wax, I would have shown it, but it wasn't. He FaceTimes me, he asks to see my He tells me he loves me. I mean, if he wanted to move on, he wouldn't be doing any of that now, would he? Yo, Mo, you the gift that keeps on giving. You're something else. <laughs> you're something else. I know. Else. You're never going to get rid of me. I'm not going anywhere. This is literally like the big, you are the biggest embarrassment of my life. Believe it or not, I actually love Jade in spite of what my daughter feels. But Monice just ruined any chance of us working anything out. Did I text Monice once or twice on a late night? Yeah, on some joke Hell, I don't want to be with her. The way that things left off between us, I'm not satisfied. I'm never going to be satisfied. No, don't come over by me, Monice. I Yo, miss Mo, you, seriously. Rich. Seriously. <laughs> don't my Yo, boobs, my boobs, my boobs, my boobs. I had surgery, I had surgery. Come on, come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. I miss you. You're you crazy, smell good. Yo. Just yeah. tell me you love me. Why the f are you sitting down right now next to her? I'm so confused. Because you, you want to be with this girl? Leave me alone. No, 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 no. please. Bye, babe. I'll call you later. Oh, you know she'll call you later? Jay, let me have my time. No, no f way. You're going to sit down with her while I walk away? I'm your woman. No, this is ridiculous. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He said that he'll never love any woman as much as he loves you me. You just so told is her that? Over? You Monique, get the out of here. No, you were mad at me because you swore you didn't play me, and you swore you loved me more than you've loved any other woman I ever. You? No, that's, that's how you felt. Going that's to the club, right? And, and you reassured me Knock that you've off. never loved anyone Knock the way that off. you loved me. That's Knock what you said. Off. Here's my message of him asking me to give him in the car. See? Go away. This is like a nightmare I just can't wake up from. I'm about to lose my girl and my mind because Moniece can't let go of the past. You asked me for I promised you, room 3715, I got you. I learned from the best daddy. And I never want to please, please find your But our names was, was we, were, we read the, okay. we made a okay. reservation to be here. No, I understand that. I have no control over the guest list. So, so we just place. sitting outside, okay. Is that liquor over there? Can you make me Tito's, soda water? Thank you so much. What is that? I think I I want regular soda water and Tito's. Yeah. Definitely 
settling here. This is where we want to buy our huge house. Have the baby. Congrats. We have been held prisoner. Your girl is married. Just had a baby, and I am on cloud nine. So look, we got beer pong, we got jingle. I want to do jingle. Jingle. Beer pong, you got to drink beer. You're not going to want to do that. John said he was coming here. Where he at? Who? Your boyfriend. I can call him now, right? Isn't that my brother-in-law? It is. That's real serious. Yeah, we're serious. That's a little too serious for me not to know. Like, oh, we was tighter than that. I didn't want that to come between us. Then, when uh, I felt like... Uh, ain't no gonna come between us. I want you to understand that. I already spoke to Holmes anyway. What you mean you already spoke to him? I did what men do. Bro, you always tripping like you're my daddy. I'm tired of everybody in my business. Hey, 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 no business. Stealing my secrets is great. The only reason why she told me that she had another girl is because she was trying to hurt my feelings. Hey, hey, and my brother just need to let me live. I'm a big girl. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I blew it off the ground. That was like a Hey, hey, time. hey. Oh my yes. God. Hi. What up, what up? What's up? What's up? What? Who the <laughs> Hi, sister, what's up? Where are you going, sis? Come here, I want you to sit down. Act similar. What, what's happening? What's going on? Come here. What's going on? What's happening? What do you what's, what's What's this? Hey, man, you already know what's going on. I already know what. You know what's happening? Is that his ex? Yo. What the f is going what's on? What's Cheyenne, baby? Nice to meet you, Shy. I've heard a lot about you. Can we know what's going on? Oh, so what's No, I'm not straight, because I'm trying to figure out what the f is going on. Hey, Scrap, how you doing, baby? How you doing, y'all? I'm not good. Because she was in that bro house, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What you mean? What, what you talking about? I know this chick. I seen her at my brother's house looking all thirsty all up over him. Now she walk in with magic couple outfits with my man. I thought KK was full of when she told me she'd had another girl on the side. But now I'm not so sure, and I'm I think y'all need to go over there and talk. Y'all let me go. highlight you. Y'all go over there and listen, 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 listen. You come on. Sis, chill. It ain't that serious. It's not. Chill, chill, chill. You're too pretty to be acting like that. Calm down a little bit. Calm down. You come over here. Chill. Wow. Welcome to Atlanta. I needed this. It's been a while. You know, I'm my first time meeting a shooter, but shooters definitely been shooting. Boom, boom, boom. He got a girl and he got a man. Come on, let's get it. 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 So I don't want to hear no we talking and we seeing what's up. That's very serious. Here, Just calm down. Now, now, now. Right. now. Right. you ain't no, you weren't right. You're not we can have a conversation right. together because there should be new people. Who? Who? It's we. Yeah. Who? It's we. Yeah. Yeah. What the f is we? Bitch, I smell you. Knowing that my friends Steph and Veronica would talk behind my back with Young Hollywood, the one person who disrespected me has me questioning everything. But it also makes me question myself. Am I this crazy, oversensitive girl that they accuse me of being? I need some advice from someone that I know has walked in my shoes before. Okay. We got I think it. we got it, yes. Oh my god, hi! Juju and I grew up together in Miami and she's back in town for a photo shoot for her hair extension line with my girl, Simply Jess. As a fellow beautiful Afro-Latina woman in the spotlight, Juju can relate in a way that Veronica and Steph obviously can. Yo, I knew you were like a super, super amazing promoter, but I didn't know you do photography. I know. I'm dying to see the pictures. I'm dying to see the pictures. I seen them from far away. It looks good from but there. Don't be looking. Yeah, don't look I'm at gonna, I'm gonna go and look at it real quick. I'll be right back, okay? And I'm sorry I came in the middle of your photo shoot, no, but I, I did want to see you. Of course. Is it mama? Hi, mommy's good. Thank you for asking. That's she be cool. watching all your pictures on Instagram, girl. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. What's been going on with you, girl? I, I've been a little stressed out. Why? Um, I've wanted to do the crossover for like the longest time, and there's this producer named Young Hollywood. Okay. I meet him, and the first thing that he does when I walk in is tell me the reasons why I'm not gonna make it because of the way that I look. Either you're too black to be Latina, or you're too, your hair is too nappy, yeah. and you know, you need to be more what? Beyonce and less, you know. Wait, 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 he wait, was what? on that type he of note. He thought your hair was nappy? Basically, yeah. 
We're Afro Latinas. We're here to stay, and we have little girls looking up to us. Don't think because I'm doing this wig line, girl, that I don't let my Afro out and I go out to the street washing, go and my hair just sticks. I ain't watching you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go to the gym with my hair, ya tu sabes, because I'm proud of my roots, and my yeah. parents didn't come here to the United States to forget that side. You know, I'm Afro Cuban, I'm right. Afro Latina, and that is what it is. And here's the thing. I don't have a problem changing. I don't have a problem with change. It's just that I'll do it whenever I feel that I'm ready. Not when somebody tells you. Exactly. My Afro-Latina identity is such a huge part of who I am. And I know Amara is the same way. I don't ever want to see this industry beat that out of her or any other young woman. I want her to be proud and embrace her identity with whatever makes her comfortable and makes her feel beautiful. You know what? I want to be here. I want to support you. I have my makeup artist here. I can get Jess, and we can do a photo shoot right now. Mira, ella hay four pelucas. Te pones tu peluca, but you're showing. I love the skin I'm in. I'm beautiful. I can change it, and then I can pick up my fro and be back to Amara La Negra. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I knew Juju would understand. Listen, my issue has never been about changing my hair. It's never been about the hair. It's about someone telling me that I have to change. How I choose to present myself and represent my culture isn't for anyone to dictate. Jess! Jess, come here a second. I need you right now. Four. Amara has all these haters saying she's too dark and that her hair this and her hair that. I really want her to do so. I want her to express herself. I'm all right, down. so everybody's down. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm down. I'm down for this. Whether I'm rocking my afro, straight hair, short hair, or no hair, I'm always gonna be true to myself as long as I do it in my own terms. Me llamo fuego, me llamo fire, me llamo todo lo que tú deseas. Me llamo fuego, me llamo fire, me llamo todo lo que tú deseas. Me llamo fuego. Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe, click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there and subscribe. All right, cheer!